and how he responds to some of the uh, perhaps likely commentary from President Trump on this energy transition at the apex of power in Saudi Arabia. Hadley and I also had the opportunity to speak with Fadi Birol at the IEA. I asked him to weigh in on the Democratic contenders in the United States who are now perhaps talking about banning fracking in the United States, the likes of Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren also being a strong advocate for this. I asked him to quantify the impacts of that ban in the US and what it would mean for oil prices generally. Here's how he responded. Climate change is a serious issue. Oil industry, uh, gas industry has to be part of the solution. Rather than uh, being a, a problem or a barrier, they have to find a solution. But uh, stopping uh, oil and gas production is something that uh, I wouldn't uh, advise the U.S. government or any other government around the world. But they have to produce oil and gas in a sustainable manner. Mm. And there are, of course, technologies, plans and projects are already there to make it a sustainable oil and gas production. Just quickly, could you quantify what that would mean for the market if we saw fracking stop in the U.S.? This would have uh, major implications. Uh, leave us at the market for the U.S. economy, for the jobs, growth and everything else and not a good news for the uh, energy security because for example US natural gas provides a lot of security to the markets uh, up to uh, recently um, before the US shale gas revolution Russia was the uh, country which was dominating alone the gas markets with the US coming in the picture there is a choice options for the consumers better for energy security diversification of the supply is a good news. So just banning this would not be a good news, not only for Americans, but also for Europeans and for somebody else. So essentially there then an Elizabeth Warren presidency would be bad for U.S. national security. It is the U.S. Uh, uh, own policies, domestic policies. I don't want to uh, uh, be involved in that, but I can tell you, U.S., after making such a major revolution in terms of shale, oil and gas, uh, helping the economic uh, growth, and helping the uh, global energy security to stop it from one day to another would not be good news at all. So essentially you had there the head of the IEA telling us that it, the policies of at least three major candidates for the Democratic nomination would put the United States national security at risk. Yeah, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because the advocates for fracking say, look, this process actually increases natural gas supply. And natural gas is, of course, seen as a much cleaner source of energy than crude oil. And that's certainly something that a lot of economies, a lot of countries in this part of the world are really focusing on as we come into 2020 and beyond. It's a big transition underway in this industry to try and diversify the energy mix and also to promote sustainability, which is a new issue that's coming up more and more in the conversation at conferences just like this. Absolutely. And it's fascinating to see as the years goes on, 10 years out here, Dan, and the intersection between the politics and the energy closer and closer together. Guys, we're going to hand it back to you.